Hello, Philly history buffs, and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss Black Saturday, the deadliest day in baseball history. Back in the early 1900s, our Philadelphia Phillies played their home games on the opposite side of Broad Street, all the way up at the intersection of Broad, Huntingdon, and Lehigh. Formerly known as National League Park, the stadium earned the nickname, Baker Bowl, by the 1920s. It was originally built in 1887, but after a fire ravaged the wooden stadium in 1894, it was reconstructed at the same location using only fireproof materials. The Baker Bowl became the first ballpark to use steel and brick for the majority of its construction. It also became the first park to install a cantilevered upper deck. It was considered the most state-of-the-art stadium at the time of its construction. But, within only a few years, those feelings would change. On August 8, 1903, the Phillies took on the Boston Braves for a Saturday doubleheader. The Phillies lost the first game, 5-4 and they were tied in the fourth inning of the second game, when the unimaginable happened. With Boston's Joe Stanley at the plate, a commotion started on the left field bleachers. Below the stadium, on 15th Street, two drunk men were being taunted by a group of children. One of the drunks grabbed the hair of Maggie Berry, aged 13. He tripped and fell on top of her. The other kids cried for help, eliciting the attention of the fans above them. As more and more people diverted their attention from the game to the incident below, a crowd jammed their way onto the cantilever deck. Unable to hold the 300 onlookers, the deck collapsed, hurling 12 fans 30 feet to their death. An additional 232 people were injured. The youngest of the dead was 24-year-old William Graham, the oldest was 63-year-old Edward Williamson, a Civil War vet who had fought at the Battle of Antietam. After years of litigation, the Phillies and stadium owners were absolved of all fiscal responsibility. One case made it all the way to the Supreme Court, where the judge ruled that too many people were congregated where they should not have been. Ultimately, this disaster changed the way future stadiums were constructed. When Shide Park opened in 1909, they made sure to detail its safety in the opening day program, stating, in the evolution of building construction vast strides have been made, and daring builders experimented with various materials to overcome the corrosive influences of time and the elements. Up to the present time nothing has been contrived which form a more lasting combination than wrought steel and cement. Technically it is known as reinforced concrete. The bleachers and grandstand and walls are solid beds of concrete. Despite its glaring imperfections, the Baker Bowl operated for another 35 years, becoming the last standing stadium built in the 19th century. In 1915, Woodrow Wilson attended the World Series there, becoming the first U.S. president to attend a World Series game. In 1935, Babe Ruth played his last professional baseball game there. Following the Phillies' 1938 departure, the Baker Bowl was used as a racetrack before being demolished in 1950. If you liked this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check back next week for another Philly history lesson.